welcome back to my channel if you guys are new my name is Lorena Aguirre and I post here on my YouTube channel every Monday and Saturday we are going to be showing you how to create an intro so first you're going to want to go ahead and go to Google and search up Canva and you could pick one or the other of these links and you're going to want to go ahead and pick video the blank one um, they have other templates if you guys are looking for something a lot easier and you don't want to customize it like this like you guys could see in the recently used ones you are able to see that I actually ended up using that first one that was there for my intro so you guys could actually change the color scheme and things like that if you don't like the color schemes of it you could kind of play around with it so but first off I wanted to go ahead and insert some things I want to be able to showcase some of the work that I do um, when I am doing my intro and I want that to be the first thing that people see and maybe entice them to continue watching our other things that I am able to offer them and teach them so I wanted to do a photo frame and I found these cute little ones you guys could go under graphics and graphics it actually has a ton more of like kind of like clip art like this and so you kind of want to just go ahead and size that you're not able to drop the picture inside of the photo frame so what you want to do is size it crop it and then send it to the back and i will go ahead and show you guys how i do that and i wanted it to be perfect into those lines and I am trying to scale it and make sure that it is going to be hidden behind and that I'm not going to have anything popping up out and over or anything like that. So that's what it looks like. And then I am going to go ahead and size it a little bit smaller and put it into the place that I'd like. You could leave it like that or I like to send it to the backwards when and you press position and press backwards and that is what it looked like and select it and press group and what that does is if you were to ever click on it 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 keeps it as a whole instead of two separate things so anytime you click on it or try to move it around it is going to move it as a whole instead of just moving it by itself canva is honestly a great thing if you guys are in the business world or anything like that or you're starting to get in youtube or you have um an instagram and you want to do cute things on there you could use canvas for so many different things definitely if you do get it definitely recommend checking out all the other things that they have to offer just because they have so many different templates so now i'm going to go ahead and add another picture and you guys could see that it layers really cute on top of each other and we're just going to go ahead and pick how small we want this and I'm just going to go ahead and crop it. Same thing like how I did the first one. And size it a little bit smaller but again this part doesn't have to be super perfect. I wanted to move my picture up just because I was unable to click on it when it was out of frame. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and size it perfectly and send that picture to the back. All right, now we're going to go ahead and center that. And then we're going to go over to position and press backwards. And then you're going to want to go ahead and select those two pictures and press group so they stay together just like the other one. And you guys could play around with different pictures and frames and things like that. There's so many different options of things on here. So definitely recommend checking them out. But definitely when you are doing a frame, you definitely want to group it and make sure that it's together. Because if you guys are doing transitions or anything like that, if you don't have them grouped together, the way they fade in and out is not going to be correct. And you guys will be able to see that in later on in the video. And I'll go ahead and place those where I want. You guys are still able to kind of move them around if you'd like. Now we're going to go ahead and search up fade just because I did want something to go over these colors. I didn't want them to be 
so out there. I wanted to kind of then be in the background like so. And so I am actually going to be leaving this ombre effect actually on top. But if you guys click away from this picture, you guys will kind of see that that purple drops off. So what I want to do is actually position it to where it fades perfectly. And I want to put an animation on this. And that is what allows it to be able to kind of slide into the photo and things like that. So we are going to size this larger just so then it fades really, really nice into the rest of the white. And you guys can see that line that's right there. It's not such a big deal, but I don't want it to be as noticeable. But I am also going to be layering something on top of it. And you could see when I do this and I click over, pretty much that line is pretty much completely gone. So um, in a little bit of a line that is still there, it doesn't bother me as much. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it for the most part. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to edit. And if you guys wanted to change the color of this fade or any other thing that you wanted to insert in your video or your intro, you are able to click over here and you could click on dual tones and they could change the color and you could adjust the colors according to that and then see different ones that you like. You guys can see that it turns it pink, but I'm going to go ahead and stick with that pop of color and I think that looks really cute and pretty. And you guys can see that is how it looks. You guys aren't able to see that big square that was left out on the side. It goes away once it's inserted. And then I'm going to go ahead and click my font of what I wanted to say. I was kind of playing around with either this glow one just because you guys know I have been in love with the glow stuff. So I am trying to see what it would look like. But there is definitely a ton of different fonts and things you could play with. You could shadow them, you could uh, make them italicized, you could do a lot of different effects to them. So definitely recommend clicking on all the other things on there and see what you like best and what suits your brand and things like that. Alright, and I ended up wanting to change the font. Instead of using a glow font, I wanted to use this font right here. You could actually change the color of it, color of it and things like that. But I'm going to go ahead and write nail tutorial. Um, you could ungroup these and take them away or angle them different ways that you'd like, but this is the way I kind of wanted to keep it for this tutorial. And then you could make it larger or put it closer, put it further, but I did kind of want it to still layer over that fade. So this is how mine looks. And then you could put different animations, but you want to make sure that when you are selecting the animation, you are only selecting what you want to be animated. Just because you guys could see that all of the pictures are kind of doing the animation. So definitely make sure that you click on the word that you want to animate, which is just the nail tutorial. And you guys could see that I will click it and then I press animations. And then you guys could see everything comes in in a different way. Like how the pictures when I first clicked the animation for that and then this comes in completely separate. Which is, that is what I want. So I'm just going to go ahead and find the animation that I like the best. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that on here. Alright you guys, so if you guys pick that clock, you guys could actually extend the time for this tutorial or you could leave it as is. But I wanted mine to be a little bit longer and not have so much time on it. So I went ahead and adjusted to make it shorter. But you guys, this is pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed learning how to make an intro with me. It is the easiest way possible. So even if you guys want to do the templates, the templates are there for you to make your life so much easier so you don't have to do all this editing and things like that. If you guys haven't already, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you guys are wanting to learn how to do a YouTube channel, definitely make sure to hit that follow button because you guys are able to see a lot more videos in how I do my YouTube stuff.